All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, to the Frag Valorant Major Philadelphia. As we're here on day number one and wrapping up what's to be the group stages before we head into the playoffs. We have 16 teams that are here at this event. I say here, you know, in Philadelphia, technically at the at the Lance Center. Unfortunately, myself, Break CBK and Elevated, not there in person, but with, with everyone there in spirit and on the stream, of course, uh, with you guys. So we've been seeing the great footage though of the event itself and it seems like the players and everyone there are having a lot of fun as we take a look at the replay from our first map of the series that we're currently covering, Sonics versus Xset FE. And the Sonics, pretty dominating performance. I am, especially Jason had a great performance I mean, across the board. It was impressive. And it, it's, if they keep up that momentum, let's just say Fracture is going to be uh, very difficult for XNFB. Yeah, I mean, I think we both knew that this was going to be a tough match for XNFB regardless. But um, Sonics, they look like a very, very drilled team, very talented team individually as well. Uh, and I'm excited to see what they bring to Fracture because they're definitely a team that has not really strayed away from diverging from the meta and trying new stuff and uh, experimenting with, you know, new maps and new agents as well as we just saw them play Chamber. Um, so definitely very curious to see what they bring to the table on Fracture. Mm -hmm. Take a look at that stage there as I was just talking about. XFE on the left-hand side as we got Sonic's on the right hand side the players now sitting back down and hopefully that means we're going to get started with map number two so we talked about yeah fracture this is a map that the the, the latest map to make it seven officially and also mentioned that we we kind of felt that at the champions the seven is kind of a, a perfect number it feels like for the amount of maps in competitive play because it really makes the band picking a pretty smooth process right you know you got each team banning a map then you got each team picking a map. Then you got the two following bands, of course. And then that leaves that final map uh, to be played. So it, it kind of makes it even across the board as far as, you know, what maps we, we play end up playing in the end. And it helps with a, with a little more diversity, I think, uh, because the seven maps that we have. So, yeah, I and like I, that we get to see it. I, I'm really curious to see what happens because they've had a pretty regular release schedule, right, of, um, of maps and agents. So are we going to get a new map, you know, in another couple of months? And then if that happens, do we cycle out a map? Does it just get added to the pool? What is, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what the overall kind of end goal is with the amount of maps and sort of the map pools that are played in competitive. I'm gonna get, by the end of the year, there's going to be 20 maps. Right. <laughs> All be playable. No. Yeah, that is an interesting, interesting point, you know, it does start cycling through or whatever, but. Uh, yeah, that, that that's definitely for a later time to see how that all plays out. But um, we see right here again, XFE getting on the headsets, making sure all the equipment's ready to go. But uh, agent selection is certainly upon us. So look at that fracture once again. You talk about agent selection, and we mentioned it, it really the unique agent that is really great on this map, maybe compared to others, is that breach. I think certainly stands out. But also, as you've been discussing the killjoy or maybe as you would like to rather see the cypher uh instead but uh in our previous series you saw both sides running that killjoy in the end so we'll see if these teams have a different opinion on that or not when it comes to the sentinel yeah what, what so what do you think about chamber being that sentinel role by the way it's like if you're if you're picking up chamber is it to replace an actual sentinel i mean in the last match we saw that wasn't the case right they still went killjoy so yeah, um, you know, he kind of fills a similar role to Cypher in some regard, where it's like a little bit more of an aggressive lurking agent, but he doesn't have the same level of um, information gathering that Cypher does. Obviously, you know, camera uh, and the cages play a big role in being able to kind of like, you know, get a lurk kill and, and get out. But Chamber, of course, can teleport. So... I feel like it's kind of in the same role as Cypher, but at the same time, because <laughs> you get these weapons and you can kind of affect the economy for your entire team, potentially, he's sort of in a unique spot that I don't really feel like any other agent kind of contests. Yeah. So I, I apologize. I, that, that actually was their only Sentinel. I don't know why I said they still had Killjoy. I was getting confused there. So they, they did not have Killjoy. They did not have another Sentinel. It was just Chamber uh, for Sonics there in map one. They were in the KO 
asteroid jet and silva around it so and i guess that kind of answers my question there in that sense but i i think you're right too that that i i feel like was the biggest discussion to be had in theory in terms of yes on paper chamber seems like a really good agent potentially with the economy game and with that teleportation and being able to get some some quick you know early kills and get out safely but where who do you replace him with that that becomes the ultimate question there so um right he doesn't in, in that case yeah he doesn't have the same sort of you know like retake power that something like a killjoy or even a cypher like you know cypher's ultimate is kind of a joke but uh even so he has a little bit more retake power chambers like got weapons you know does that really help you retake a site not really does he help you get onto a site not really so i i think it's probably going to be an evolving thing where teams are going to have to sort of prove why it's worth playing it before it becomes meta interesting here so sonics continues to not be afraid to do a little bit different brimmy yeah a spirit that's with me brimstone gonna be happening bob will be playing the brimstone busy life uh cue it up the sage and oh. else i was gonna say yeah okay chamber. it's a going chamber yeah just like on the first map does go chamber in the end all right so, so brimstone on fracture we saw gambit play this at champions uh team liquid used to play um brimstone on fracture as well definitely is a viable agent here the ultimate for brimstone super good at clearing out you know these multi-layered sites on both a and b site and also the fact that you have three smokes there's a lot of angles to watch on fracture and those long lasting instantaneous smokes can definitely help with uh hitting sites mm -hmm. all right nothing like a stim pack as well to yeah, whatever. help you get into a site <laughs> hey I, stim pack's good all right Maybe it if it made you run faster too, it'd be a useful like a turbo. Yeah. yeah, that'd be fun actually. All right, Art Star, I see she's lining up for uh, Viper Wall over there on the A side towards A main. Uh, they also got a couple players in X F E side going satellite, but <laughs> Sonic, they're having fun with that rope in the middle. But all five players are early on looking to make an A main play. Dizzy Live taking advantage of the teleports. Peek aggressively. Probably not going to go through this wall, but as long as he's in the teleport range, it might be, might be the play. Checking the wall there. They have an orb to take now. If they would like. Make sure no one's close. They see Viper just back in the sight, so it's going to be their orb for free. And now they're hitting towards rope, so they're going towards spawn. Here we go. Oh man, they're in the middle of the map. This is dangerous for Xset. Now Sonics can go wherever they want. Yeah, but they could also be sandwiched from either side. Now Ellie finds uh, finds Zion to start, so that's the only kill so far. Now make it that one, Marina. Gets Baba Dizzy alive. The lineup gets two with a ghost. Make it three. Already. Player standing. Crunchy. One versus three now. Thirty seconds left. And they're going to go back into the A side. So, yeah, very interesting to see the mid control coming out from Sonics. And they will eventually hit a site where it might be a three versus one with a spike plant. Now, Art Star just making the best call, trying to go B to stop the rotations, but ultimately, guess is wrong. And I feel like that's something that maybe only works on Pistol Round, being able to go up ropes quickly like that. But we'll see. Sonics. Most teams have a hard time getting to the middle of the map on attack. Yeah, Art Star. Can e even if a even if a kill happens there, it still has two more to get through, and then eventually the defuse. It's pretty much a lost cause at that point. But last thing you want to do is stay alive in the pistol round, so might as well fight fight for it. That's what happens there. But Sonic still take the first round. Up one nothing. By situation, Ari will pick up that sheriff. We saw the A main play last time coming out from Sonic's early on, but this time instead maybe headed towards Tree. Uh, not too sure actually. They're all just kind of hugging around where they spawn, and now going to make their way to places. 
hole on the bottom side of the map, though. Yeah. I like the uh, the chamber trademarks on both uh, sides on the other oh. side of the map. Man, they were just waiting for them to push them. Sonic still clean up three. The runner on with the Spectre. Disney Live gets three kills himself, and Ian will finish it on Starry Bun. So yeah, they, they were. Just, it's almost as if they knew that XNFP was going to just do something really aggressive there in that second round, and they were right. Yeah, I think that's it's definitely sort of a pattern of the pistol round on defense. If if you lose that first pistol, generally teams will push, and even on the on the pistol round in general, yes, you cool. kind of need to take aggressive map control. So uh, just a good read by Sonics punishes it pretty effectively, and they already have a total force online for Dizzy Life, by the way. Six and one start. You want to play? So there's an operator play. that we're gonna have on the board. Ready. Interesting to me, he waited until after the round started to use it, because, again, that is one where you could use before, but maybe don't want to give away the sound cue that early on, but either way, has it active, and uh, this could get a little dangerous. Oh, oh he's out of uh, he's out of teleport range. Oh, great job by XZFE, working together off of that flash from Ellie. Crunchy did catch Ari. Run away. Bob and flank, though. And Bob's going to find one. We'll pick up the upgrade of the Phantom. Oops. Down here, Silver sees the head. Go for the peak from both directions. Waiting for the teammate. It does work. So now we got a two versus two. The rotation is a little bit slow for Xset, so they're just now getting to the site. And, uh, Sonic has control of the most important part of this B site, the tower. That's a great shot, though. Through the smoke, kills Bob. Thirty seconds left. Making noise now, so we're absolutely certain where Crunchy is. So oh, generator, uh -oh. Art Star doesn't win that duel with the heel. One v ones against Reyna. Oh! You find a superior. That's a flick and a half right there. Three kills, gets the spike plant. Three nothing Sonics. They take the bonus round. Gave me PTSD to every ranked game I've ever played. One enemy remaining. They lost three players off the bat, too. I, I mean, that was heck of a comeback when you really think of how that round started by Sonics. Yeah, look at that flick. Oh, man, the first shot even hit in the box. First two shots, I want to say, hit the box. And then eventually lined up to the head. Exit FP. They're going to play aggressive, though, this time in A main. I guess wrong. Oh, no. Five player pushed out of A main means that B site completely clear. And Ian is just calming this. You know, he's like, they're all here. They're all here. Go, go. Would, would have liked at least a second kill, but they get a, they get a Phantom as a result of blowing the one death. And now make it a four versus four. Crunchy, though. You're done. Oh, beautiful flash from Breach. Gets another, avoids the flash turning around. Gonna toy with it as well, and Art Star falls in the end. So they pick up the gun, hope to make some plays. Quickly shut down is Exit FE. So Sonics makes it 4 0, but back to the vibes for Exit. And they also have four ultimates outside of Jet Knives. They have everything to use. So this is the round that it feels like, yeah, and they're, they're even gonna call timeout. I actually really like this. You got four ultimates, you gotta buy again, you're down 4 0. Let's really make sure we understand what we want to do here. Yeah, I mean, the question is, do you use the Viper's Pit right away? Try to force them to go to the other site? Um, do you, you know, play it reactively? This is definitely a very important round for them with all these ultimates and with the buy. So we need to stop Sonic's momentum if they want to have a chance here to kind of bring this map back in their favor. So, talking it over, and we'll see what the setup looks like. Yeah, I think yeah, that Viper's Pit is kind of the interesting one, as you said. It's do you really just lock down one of the sites or even one of the directions? That's been an issue. I mean, so far, it, when you really think about what we've seen too from Sonics, is I don't even know if they've been to the top side of the map. I guess they were 
on the first round, or that was maybe the second round. Either way, they, maybe one of the times, but most of the time they've been on the bottom side of the map. I guess you four rounds, three of the four rounds. So, um, as I say this, Sonics is now split up, and they got three players going towards Satellite. And look at this, though. Exit at They have three players going Satellite. We're going to see a huge clash. Early fight. Sorry, Dizzy somehow still alive, able to teleport away. Okay. Oh, Dizzy jumping out. Can't teleport out of that. Jason will catch Ellie, though. And gets another somehow. And gets a third. Jason on point. Artstar finally Logic stops smoke. the momentum there. As now we do have a two versus two. A side is open. Ian's already here. Artstar jumping down. Ian's going to have a great spot. Artstar had no clue. Sonics once the again. from Bob. Yeah, just once again, kind of outmaneuvering Exit. They committed a little too heavily to that dish push. And now Marina in a very tough spot trying to push through these brimstone smokes that are just very hard to navigate through. Yeah. It's like a wall in itself. Eventually goes down, though. Going to cage on top. Go for the cage defuse. Maybe get halfway. Acting like it. The pull in, jump peak, Astra making it pretty much impossible as they're even gonna brimstone out ulti. So nice kill for Marina and no can still defuse it. He's gonna go for half. Coming from the right. Ooh. Ooh. Nice try. If she lands it, yeah, though that, if she lands a headshot, that's the defuse. So good try, but Bob winning that one and gets it 5 nothing. So close. It was close, but elevated. Close doesn't matter. It doesn't. It's the round victory for Sonics, and though they did use the Orbital Strike still with two ultimates available, the Cosmic Divide and the Empress available, uh, four ultimates still available for Xset. Yeah. That's, you know, and I was going to point that out, especially after a timeout, that's frankly almost disappointing to see. Like, you have four ultimates that one round, that was the biggest thing going into that, it felt like, on a gun round. Got to use at least something, right? Especially with that huge clash off the start. I don't know, but they still have them going into round six now. But how about this very patient play from Sonic? They're or I guess all of them even are just literally sitting in their spot. <laughs> this is like the only map you would ever see this. Yeah, this is such a huge pace change. And Sonic's, I mean, again, just somehow getting this read. There are five players for Exit on the B site. Dizzy Life gonna go exploring here towards A. Oh, never mind. The read is wrong. Oh, the rotations for Exet starting to head towards A. Oh, oh no, no. The timing. Well, there's an Astro Wall. This is offensive. I'm Sonics. Starry Bun. That was a good stun, actually. Slows him down a bit. Molly's as well. On default, Bob's gonna get taken out with the entry, Jason. It's merry now, but some more trades happening. Sonics, they're having trouble really getting on the site. Chamber flank left. could be everything though, through That's the underpass. Not... Coming right around there. to the backside of tower. And oh, they're gonna crunch in with this rolling thunder as well. Here comes the flank. The counter, the counter rolling thunder, but Dizzy Life wasn't hit. He makes it work. Jumping out now, Starry Bun. Oh, Ari right, got the knife kill, dead. but the right click One cannot take out Jason. Beautiful shot from Starry Bun, giving hope live. for XNFE. He needs to stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Ring around the Rosie! No! So <laughs> close. The shot. Oh, that was so close indeed. Staying alive, can't do so. Sonic 6 nothing. To be fair, that was an eco, and they only used one of their ultimates. So pretty yeah. darn good round for Exit on the fence there. Um, the uh, flank ended up being a little too much. But they still have plenty of resources to work with here going to round 7. Yep. Keeping, uh, keeping a little bit of hope there, but Sonic's they're dominating a map on Ascent. So I've been carrying that over now to Fracture, which again is their map choice. Starry Bun from up top. Saw this work out pretty well for XFE last time in a similar instance, and so far off to a good start. Jason clearing though, great job with the Aftershock. Jason gets another before getting traded by Ellie. 
Yeah, I really like that setup where you have one in tower and one behind the boxes. They even brought a third player there to contest. Ooh, Marina finds a nice kill on Ion, out lurking the lurker. Yep, so player advantage now for XFE. Bobby's checking for traps of Cypher, trying to figure out where Camera is, where traps are. It's just spamming everything. There's there the go. camera. <laughs> One enemy remaining. Oh, good patience from Artstar being disciplined. Sitting in left. tower and catches chamber. So now very winnable for exit at B. Three versus one. It's up to Bob. Stim Stimpak, go. <laughs> I'm loving this utility duel between these two. It is great. Left. Yep. Left. Oh. Careful, Marina. Oh. Good. Good play by Xset there. Yeah. Able to kind of drain all the utility out. End up team shooting for <laughs> the victory. It felt like something special might have been brewing there. Not gonna lie for Bob, but in the end, Xset FE they take care of business and they finally get on the board. It's gotta feel good at least. With the victory again, technically it is an attack sided map, so try to build some momentum now if you're X at FE. Okay, four or five rounds, you will absolutely take that. I believe it was 60% attack sided at Champions. Still on some really soft blade. The highest. Roll the maps, X at RE. Good shot there, takes out Bob. Tree. Good chamber, meanwhile, on the other side. Yeah, he's going running up arcade. With teammate Crunchy. Here. Oh, Crunchy caught going into spawn though. Who? Life. Not oh, sure where to look. Hiding behind the Viper wall. Marina takes a dizzy life, and this is looking great once again for Exit FE, unless I had something to say about it. Tried, but he does not in the end. Starry Bun closes it two rounds in a row. Yeah. That was uh, really well played. They had super good positions. They rotated out of tower at just the right time to avoid the breach utility, but kept control of the site with that Viper wall and just gave Sonics too many places to look. So I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing from Xset all of a sudden. They've uh, changed up their setup a little bit and throwing Sonics for a little bit of a loop. Uh, Astro Wall, the only thing ready, and the only oh, ultimate ready, that is, on either side for, in this case, XZFP has it. Since you're live dealing with a lot of this utility, Ari runs to the door, they're flashing through, XZFP is playing very fast with this. Into the Econ game, as Ari's able to dash away before the return fire takes place. Oh, excuse me, that's not really an Econ, I, actually, Sonic does have buys. Yeah, it's just the uh, dizzy life with the the chamber headhunter. Headhunter, yeah. Or free sheriff, as you also call it. Kinda, it's like a free, mixture. Free of... guardian. Free oh. free sheriff slash guardian, yeah. Sorry, bun. That wall. It's gonna come down shortly. Play. Oh, that's another free gun. The operator, aka Tour de Force, comes out. Bun. Have action soon. Flash in. There's the pull in. Has a run from Crunchy. Gets some damage, but the heal takes place after the kill. Gets another on Ari. Crunchy doing the initiation, doing the duelist job. Gets two. Yeah, the timing just a little bit off for Starry Bun there, so unable to stop the hit from fully happening. Teleport ready. Easy life. Star. Oof. Saw that coming. Yep. Spam for Crunchy. the final kill for Crunchy. I'm not gonna lie, haven't seen a ton of value from the chamber. <laughs> I, I feel like you <laughs> could just probably have a raise here, and it might be just as good. But are you already about complaining about seeing chamber? I mean, How dare you? <laughs> I mean, it just doesn't. I, I haven't seen any like chamber plays really. But they, they have been using him to take contact, I guess, a little bit. Um, 
around the corner since you don't necessarily want your Reyna to be the first one in since Reyna is more about like this goes here. kind of cleaning up kills and, and chaining the other multis. So I, I do like that, that they're using him to kind of play the jet role where you get in, get out. I mean, he is filling the set in a roll technically, so he's the only one on the side. No more charges left. Why destroyed? And it's a fast A hit from Satellite. I haven't seen this yet coming out from Sonics. Arena and Spawn is going to be taken out by Crunchy, though, who has that Empress active. And this is a free side, Bob. Making the way in here with a spike. Yeah, this is problematic for Xset. Look how spread out Sonic is, too. They have dish control. They've got A main control. Xset has to come through Spawn. It. And it is a big choke point. Going to cut this off with a wall. That's the Sonic's wall. Pretty much making XNFE run through the barrier into death, and that's exactly what happens there, Ari. And they have uh, Orbital Strike 2, just in case things are a little squirrely. Just, uh, the firefight is real right now. The audio is insane. <laughs> just a hail of bullets. <laughs> it was a firefight. Name that movie. Um, Shrek. That's not it. You were, you were so close. Okay. Boondock Saints. Uh, a Knight's Tale. No, not still Boondock Saints. I literally told you what it was. That works. It's a good movie. It was a great movie. <laughs> Anywho, Sonics 9 2. They are leading, looking to close out the first half extra strong. It was 8 2. Sorry. It's a small screen right there, so I'm not. I'm actually not blanking. It's H2, I think. Either way, Sonic's feeling very good. <laughs> That's all cast from the bottom right here. Very small frame. Looks like uh, XZFE is moving up. They are in an Econ, so it is 8 to 2. And Sonic's knows this. They're just going to go right again, barreling into the A side. And good thing they didn't go dish because that's exactly where Sonic's or XZFE was stacking. And now they're going to have to retake from it. They do have Rolling Thunder, though. This is a pretty, out first. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot to use Rolling Thunder from as well, but Sonic's wisely playing not all on site. Yeah, smart and crunchy. I love the just getting away after that first kill, allowing the teammates to do the damage instead. And a win for Sonic. Oh, there we go. Just in case. Last round before the switch. Right there. So 9 to 2, favoring Sonic's. And looking to close out the half now, officially strong. I'm going to ask you full screen. One enemy remaining. Clean shots. Arena things. All right, final round for XNFE. They have that Rolling Thunder. Saved it for this last round. Definitely want to see them use it, of course. Looks like they might set up for an aggressive play down B, but we can see. No Sonics players there. They are all headed towards A, and Xset <laughs> has once again stacked the wrong site, unfortunately. The hunt begins. Well, and not, this isn't necessarily the only issue by any means, but it does seem like, at least in these later rounds, Sonics has just been going A main, and I don't think Xset FB has really been doing much to defend against it. Yeah. They're not doing any setup there. Be another free plant pretty free so far they do have this breach ultimate as you said but i mean again sonics they're expecting this so they're going to play way back off the site they have the orbital strike still oh oh man what a play by crunchy but no oh, there's three dead actually bob will kill ari but down at two does not be a little strike um, throws it down keeps him off crunchy clutches ellie went down to the orbital strike and it's a one versus one starry bun can she defuse it's in the open. Tap. We'll tap oh. the dome. Bob with the peak, and we'll finish it ten to two. Beacon down. Switching sides. Out of charges. So close. Man, yeah, it was a good retake nice. from Xat, but just that uh, orbital strike. strike a little bit too much. Bob with the Ferrari peak to finish it off, and I mean Sonic's continuing to look very dominant here on Fracture. See what this uh, chamber looks like on defense for at least a couple rounds. A gift. Here. 
Well, that's FP. Getting stars with the pistol. R is going to go right into the sheriff. We need to kill your armor. People set shots. And that's it, FP. They're going to collapse onto the B side. They have two going arcade, three going tree. They are running into that chamber and uh, Astra, though, from the looks of it. Trying to find something. It's just patient play, though, from Sonics. I'm walking up here, man. They found my trap. Wait for some cues to happen. So the four can pass? No. No, he doesn't. Yeah. You lose. Suspect. Reach. Not gonna use Aftershock though, so Dizzy able to peek and get a kill. Has a teleport to get out as well. Dash on it. On top of the slow. Oh, great flick from Ian and is gonna catch Ari as well. Got stuck in that slow. It's like trying to walk through molasses all over the ground. Feels Batman moment and great babe from Crunchy and Bob right clicks hard star to finish the job. So Sonics, you've said it before, we'll keep seeing it throughout this event, I'm sure. Great team play as they're now up 11 to 2. Yeah, I, I think it's kind of cool too that I, I've been noticing that they're setting up the, um, the chamber trademark, which is the, the slow producing alarm bot with the Astro Star nearby. So I think that you could probably use the Astro Star to suck off of the alarm bot trigger, but then it holds them in place so that the slow has time to actually shoot out and land. And makes it just like a quagmire to try and push through. <laughs> All right, we got a huge clash and hey man, they just run into each other. It's like they headbutt each other. And Jason, the Spectre spam his way through, so gets three. Oh, that's, uh, that was that's one of the fastest <laughs> rounds of Valorant I've ever seen, yeah. That was what, like five seconds? Did we even make it to five seconds? I don't know. I blinked and uh, the whole round was over. <laughs> Teleport's ready. Well, it's, might be a game over at this point. 12 to 2 for Sonics. Next at FB. Of course, they are going to full by Vandal. Full armor. But there's even a Vandal for Crunchy. You know Crunchy's feeling it. 22, 7, and 4. Currently towards Satellite. But tree play for XFP. Similar setup though from Sonic says round one. And Dizzy going for a little bit of an off angle. Just misses the timing on Art Star, but is potentially going to find Ellie. Knife out. Uh oh. Oh, no. That's Spike. Still gets the kill. Yeah, but a swap to the Spectre. Does get traded eventually though. I am pushing through the smoke. Jet does not expect this. The jet animation. Doesn't work in time. Yeah, you, could he you could hear the reload, and Ion was he was hungry. Marina leading the way into the A side, but Bob's ready. He's got the Molly, gonna smoke on. Catches Marina jumping out. Perfect stun timing from Jason as well. Like oh, that's what that was. Crossfire of utility just makes it impossible to drop down from Dish. Except they are just getting thwarted at every single attempt to try and push onto a site. 30 seconds left. Maybe we're going to play this patient, try to act like they went back to the B site, but they basically are committed to hitting A at this point. Jason has a feeling. Yeah, he seems to know. Ooh, great shot from Starry Bun. Bob on the anchoring duty once again. Ooh, I love this. Does some seconds damage left. and then repositions. Player standing. Hi. Oh. Player standing. Using vertical. I am one versus one. Spike planning knows they're in the corner though. This is just a matter of the pre-fire. Oh boy. Okay. GG. Starry Bun doing her best, but in the end, it's Sonics will take it 13 to 2 with a defuse. And they'll take the series two to nothing. So they finish undefeated. At a 3-0 record in the group stages, congratulations for them going into the first round of the playoffs. As far as XNFE is concerned, again, we'll have to wait for confirmation, but possible that their journey here at this event could be over. Uh, yeah, it is. Bad Boy Crew took care of business against Yellow Submarines. Okay.
So Bad Boy Crew and Sonics move on from Group B. We have um, results from several of the other ones. Group D, Team Name, and Jewel Team 6 both move on. Yep. Still waiting on a couple of the other matches to finish up. On the way in Jay's finest out of Group C, as we talked about. So yeah, Group A is the last one. We're not exactly sure um, which teams are coming out of that one. But uh, we'll see. Booster Seat Gaming in a good spot there. But UNL and Zero Marksman also have a chance. So yeah, we'll keep an eye on that and see how that all plays out. But the group's starting to shape up here at the starting of the day. No matches played. And by now, we're on the verge of being ready for the playoffs which will be the final series, which we're going to be covering here tonight uh, when that is all set up and good to go. So we'll get you that information and what we're looking at as soon as uh, as we have it. But as I said, we got a lot of Valorant coming at you today, and I wasn't lying. Uh, we still got one more best out of three, which includes the beginning of the playoffs here for this tournament. And then that lead, that'll lead us into tomorrow, which will have the semifinals leading into the finals, of course. So... All right. Uh, obviously, a couple of sponsors here at this event. Uh, I want to give a big shout-out to Mike and Ike this time around. Take your candy game to the next level with a pack of Mike and Ike Original Fruits or Mike and Ike Mega Mix. The delicious, fruity, chewy flavors will help you fill your game and power you up to keep playing at your best power-up with Mike and Ike. Elevated, are you powered up? Are you ready? I am powered up. just had my second cup of coffee, so I'm ready for these playoffs. I'm ready to get into the... Uh, the money-making games, and uh, I'm pretty pretty satisfied with what I've seen so far today. It's been, yep. uh, it's been some good Valorant. Definitely been some entertaining Valorant. Valorant, that's all we could ask for. But ladies and gentlemen, again, the playoffs begin. We'll have a short break right here. We'll keep you updated, and we'll let you know what we're going to be covering here from the Frag Valorant Major Philadelphia. I'm Brick CPK, joined by Elevated. Stay tuned. Playoffs coming up next. <laughs> 